returning thank you so much for coming back if you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and become part of the family um it's almost lunch time i'm having my lunch while i am working because during the actual lunch break i want to step out of the house quickly i need to um, go to canal walk and come back so yeah it's just one of those it's a work day it's a it's it's normal for it to be slow yeah that's what i'm trying to say so in between work i've been working since the morning i wanted to go to gym but it didn't work and i had planned to go to gym now at 12 but i won't be able to do that because i me going to canal walk is also dependent on a person that i need to pick up so she's only available well i need to be at her workplace exactly half past one so i just couldn't go to gym and also trying to avoid traffic because i need to pick her up at her office and i must again go drop her off and come back and continue working so now I'm just going to try and see if I can't move gym time to later on. But during the morning, I did some dishes. I actually basically cleaned my kitchen. <coughs> Sorry, and in between I'm doing laundry. So now what I'm going to do is I'll shower quickly and for at least I'm done with meetings for the day but i will still be taking calls in between so i need to go hang the load that is done washing and i need to shower i'm going to put another load and then leave at i think to be safe i'm going to leave at one my place from here to where she works it's 20 minutes but just to be safe to be safe because we're working with time so yeah she'll also be taking her lunch that time so that's that that's the update i just want to give you I'm having coffee i'm having coffee and lunch <laughs> sorry not lunch i'm having coffee and cake and i'm also thinking when i come back i will die be, or before because at four we're having load shedding so i guess from four i'm gonna go to gym we're having load shedding i just figured that i don't need to buy new hair to have bob i can just um oh so i have the hair that i used um here to give this weave volume it's a it's it's bundles. I bought bundles. I think last year, if not two years ago, I bought bundles, and there were three. And I asked someone to do a wig for me, and she only used two, and one bundle was extra. So now, because I undid the wig, so I'm back to having three bundles, and one is one that I dyed, I dyed black, um, Sunday. So I'm left with two bundles and I'm just thinking that I can just dye the two but the thing is now at the moment I only have one dye which can work for one bundle and then over the weekend I can because this weekend my son is going to my mom over the weekend then I can just dye Friday I can dye the second bundle and then I'm not going to remove this one because I just had it but it's just for me to keep them dyed so that whenever I want to take this one off I can know that I, I know that the bob that I've been wanting I can do it and also when I do it um, I think I'm just going to ask my lady to actually just do the usual which is to um, sew in and whatnot, and then I'm going to ask my guy who actually does my hair, hair to do the cutting and the blending which is blow drying. I'm not sure if I'm going to relax my hair or when will I relax my hair. Um, we are now 21st of November and the last, the first time I relaxed my hair was in, was beginning of October. 
so I'm just thinking I don't want to keep it for too long but at the same time it's not thick yet so I think I can just wait so maybe I can relax towards the end of December or beginning of Jan I don't know it's very windy today and it's one of the reasons well it's the reason I'm having I'm wearing a cap instead of just um, brushing my hair it is extremely windy you can even hear the wind I wanted to talk to you about this this it's called the leather desk yes so um, I want to paint this it's white and there's a small part that's like a pine color pine wood color yes I want to paint this white I don't know the kind of paint that they used but um, I just don't like it if I put a cup a, a, a mug on on it it leaves a stain if there's a stain and you quickly try to wipe it it does not get removed so I'm not sure what kind of paint they used there's also like a mark of a red pen on this it, it cannot be wiped or cleaned so I've decided that I do have paint So I have a paint, let me close this one. I bought this paint to paint the wall of the house. So I still have leftovers. It's actually a very good paint that you can wipe. In one of the videos you saw, my son used the pencil to scratch, to write on the wall and I could just wipe it. So I'm going to, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to try and take a brush and paint this using this paint and also I need to buy paint because I'm planning to paint my bedroom walls grey and sorry I'm trying to move to the bedroom I want to show you something so I'm trying to paint this room grey one of the reasons I want to paint it's because of the mold. It has built up, I think from 2021 and 2022 plus this year. So it has built up and it just can't be wiped now. It, it has left mold marks. So also I want to actually just change this color to a light gray. And then if you're looking at the ceiling, I don't know if you will be able to see. Let's do this. Can you see the darkness on the ceiling? That is all mold. That's all mold from mold, so I just need to also paint the actual ceiling white I'm going to buy um, white paint and probably mix some to get the gray color and then use the other one to paint the ceiling and I'm planning to do all of that this weekend this weekend yeah but the desk I'm definitely gonna do before weekend. I'm done getting dressed. I showered, got dressed. Now the time is 20 to 1. And I did say that I'm going to leave at 1. But the nice thing is that I'm not gonna be late. On my side, all is good. And then when I leave, I will just need to um be away on team so that I don't get calls while I'm on the way I'll be taking my lunch
today it's a Wednesday and we are in the middle of the week well much more closer to the end of the week but I'm just happy and looking forward to this weekend and I'm not gonna lie fatigue yeah and fatigue has got me so bad and I think it started yesterday so when I woke up this morning I was wondering why do I feel so tired yet I had enough sleep then I realized that it got me it got me so bad so will forever be looking forward to weekends and unfortunately I'm one of those people that does not like taking leave during December but however I did take a few days in that Christmas week this towards the end of that week beginning it's holidays and then towards the end I took leave so at least I'll be off that week so I'm looking forward to that and I just came here because I'm just trying to understand something so yesterday I got a call from my mom she asked me to check she is really believing that Black Friday comes with like good deals yes it does at some places but most places no it doesn't so she has asked me to get her a few things um, I think she wants a shower gel a foam bath and a few other things so I started checking because I just don't want to be part of Black Friday so I started checking online I know some stores they 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 actually starting their Black Friday today on Wednesday so I was try also I was going online just to check on Friday which stores should I go to so I was checking between this cam clicks and then for some reason I thought let me go on take a lot just to check the difference in prices so and I, I more or less know some of the prices <clears throat> on this chem's website when it comes to the products that I make use of so I went on the take a lot website I checked for Dr. Till's products for a moment I was shocked and I was convinced that the prices that they charge for these products I was so convinced that they probably this is a different range this is probably like a pro range or an advanced range so for a moment I was believing that but I just wanted to vet my belief so I went back to the discam website check properly check the product the name the type of product because I do know that with Dr. Till's body scraps the prices are not the same um, they can be the same size but I'm not sure if it's I don't know what the what's in the formula that makes it different but I do know that from what I'm seeing they would be different flavors if you can put it that way like some would have eucalyptus some would have this some would be meant to be used for this um, case but I went on the discam website so I'm gonna put here on the screen exactly the same product same size different prices and I honestly don't know the uh, like the reasoning behind pricing when it comes to take a lot but I would think that the person that's selling their product through take a lot they get charged by take a lot so in the price that they are charging customers they would have probably factored take a lot price and possibly add their profit but um, if that would be the logic or the reasoning behind the prices that they charge it, it's very unfair it's really unfair because it just puts the prices like so high and I just probably hope that some people are falling are okay with that price but I'm one of the people that is not okay to pay that much so I'm gonna put these two screenshots here and I'm gonna look at them on my phone so I can talk so it's the same size Dr. Till's body scrub pink Himalayan I think it, there's a spelling error or something yeah 
on the Discam website when it comes to Himalayan. And then on Take A Lot, Dr. Till's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub and Pure What 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 What, which is the same thing. So it's a restore and a replenish with pure Epsom salt and essential oils. The Take A Lot one, same thing. It's a restore and replenish. The Take A Lot one, in the corner it just has a new. In the corner it just has a small tag saying new, which I believe packaging. Um, the size for both is 454 grams. Yes. And on the Discam website, it's one fifty nine ninety five, and on the Take a Lot website, it was four hundred and fifty five, and it got reduced. Now it's selling for three hundred and twenty five. So I do know that there are people. Um, some of us are fortunate to be in the cities where it's just a, a walking distance or a drive away or a delivery away for you to get these products and shops like this can they do offer those um, delivery services and there are people that do like the products and unfortunately your stores like this can clicks and your other stores they are unable to deliver where those people stay could be that they stay in remote areas or high risk areas but i think even if you're staying in a high risk area you can still take a taxi and go to the shop but now i think this one applies more to people that are in the remote areas struggling to get transport to get to town so they can have access maybe even their town does not have discount then they would buy on the take a lot um website but i do know even when it comes to clicks and disc camp they do the same thing you find something at this price at this camp and at, at clicks it's a different price but this one <laughs> i don't know i don't know how i feel and this was not the only product that it happened because later on yesterday i then went on to check for this other product i'm going to again put both products here i just forgot the name but this one is from cakes it's an electric appliance i'll put them both here it's exactly exactly the same thing and i believe that people that are selling through take a lot they obviously buy at these places um it's exactly the same product on take a lot um on take a lot that product is selling i think it's 1000 i'll put the screenshot here but it's more than a thousand um and then on at clicks it's 500 and something again it's another product where they double charge on 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 take a lot and on clicks website it's cheaper so i don't know what they're doing but for me personally i'm uh, i won't just go to take a lot i can buy something if it's a bit pricey for convenience sake because they do sell convenience but the other stores do sell convenience as well but in a case of take a lot there's things that you won't find in stores here in Cape Town. Maybe it's stock in Joburg or something then you, you buy. But all I want to say with this mouthful conversation, all I'm going to say is that please be careful. Don't just jump to take a lot. I do understand that it's really, in, it's really convenient when your delivery is dropped off at, the, at your doorstep. But at the same time, just... Um, try to calculate and think of the cost if you really care about that think about the cost um, the amount that you are paying versus what the price is out there two cents of mine to you <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to say that let me go back to my work
to a new day of the vlog um, I've just finished cleaning the kitchen well I am on a mission of cleaning my place I've cleaned the kitchen it's looking all I need to do because I was distracted by load shedding is to just um, wash is to just wash this coffee machine thing and this air fryer thing those are the only two things that I need to do also um, if you're looking at my plant it is dead I need a new plant tomorrow I'm getting a new plant and I'm also looking at getting a new planter from Le Crusade this is blue I'm planning to take to move this one to my lounge and then I want to get a black mat if not can be glossy but I would prefer black mat or glossy or a meringue color of something that's gonna be light but if it's meringue it's not gonna stand out I actually want something that's going to stand out from the cupboards and from the white of the shelf so um, tomorrow I'll be doing that but that will definitely be part of the next vlog and moving on i've mopped my lounge i have now i just need to mop the other half because it's quite big now i need to do the other half and then i need to i did talk about this i want to paint into this um this desk i'm not going to paint the legs I'm not going to paint the top, top one. I'm just going to focus on painting one, two, three, so that I can, at least these are more visible to me. So this is the, these are the stains I was talking about. This is like, you can see it's from a coffee mug. Yes. And then this is the pen. And you see, there's just funny marks and I don't know what they did here. So I have my paint ready and my brush all soft and I will just, I'm not going to do this on camera but I will paint a small part, I think I'm supposed to shake, 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 shake the skin before I can actually use it yeah looking good let me just do a small part I also just need my cloth with me this paint is a bit dusty so I don't need it okay break I'm just quickly waiting for the first coat to dry and I've actually also moved the the desk closer to the window so that it can dry quickly so while I was waiting for that I went to fetch my long mirror in the bedroom because I wanted to use it here and I put it against the TV stand when I moved it fell on the floor when I picked it up it's broken into pieces and my heart is as broken as my mirror because this is like my only long mirror the only the other mirrors that I have are 
attached in the bathrooms so unfortunately my standing mirror that I spoke about last few vlogs ago I am actually going to get it tomorrow but yeah fortunately but unfortunately because I would have loved to have two mirrors so I might now also need to get another mirror but I'll see if there's a need for me to do that so I'm gonna close off this vlog here as I will be continuing with the second coat of, of, of the paint and then go about my day there's just nothing besides cleaning and I'm also gonna make myself something to eat now um, which I don't know what but I need to eat so if you have enjoyed the vlog thank you so much um, and I truly appreciate all the support that I'm getting from each and every one of you guys um, please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and if or you have watched up until this far please like comment and share the video and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye